Welcome to Awakening Art Network. My name is Tori Lally. Today we have the distinct honor and pleasure of joining in conversation with the wonderful and the incredible Arlene Johnson. Today's call is titled called Finding True Love in Above. And, you know, this is a special call that's going to be opening up to clear out all trauma and heartache. Um, open up your heart chakra and clear heart walls. Reprogram your subject mind, subconscious mind to love that you truly are. Set yourself free from attachment, love, agreements, curses, negativity. These kind of things affecting your life. And you'll hit these leaders through a loving and lasting relationship or heal the one that you're in now. And Marlena has tons and tons and tons of incredible testimonials. Marlena is a self-taught international master manifester. Abundant life coach, motivational speaker, life worker, intellect, energy healer, and a clairvoyant angel channeler. You will find her speaking on global platforms, hosting her own radio show, producing music, teaching and training individuals, and large groups of people daily. She is the creator of her own universe. Helping thousands of conscious beings manifest the life of their dreams through an array of her golden key energetic processes. Marlena has assisted over 25,000 people worldwide. She meets them on the level that they're at and elevates them at the speed they're ready to experience. The goal is to empower them to easily manifest their heart's desires and thrive, living a life of infinite possibilities. During a meditation and channeling session, she was instructed to keep several rapid life changing programs. Since then, Marlene has used it primarily for her own use until several years ago when she went global, get global with her gifts, which have massively helped her clients manifest their dream lives. If you can dream it, you can be it. She is the creator of the Rapid Energy Awakening System. Working with Marlene will be a life-changing, magical experience. The energy of Lakshmi, the goddess, goddess of wealth, flows 24 7 wherever Marlene is. People have experienced high energy shifts just from being on call or walking by her. She radiates an energy of pure radiant love which magically flows out and shifts the vibration to a joy frequency. And as she says, money follows joy. And joy follows Marlene. Her initials spell it out, NJ. Marlene's joy. Welcome to the call, Marlene. I'm so glad to have you back. Oh, it's so awesome. We had a little um, fun before the call. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, life is just a journey of joy. Um, you know, you learn, you grow, you invest in yourself. It's your joy. Uh, so I, before we even begin, I want to thank you for inviting me back. Um, we always have an interesting time together. Um, many people get set free on these calls, so it's always a fun and exciting for me to be on these calls and it's a pleasure. Um, but before we begin tonight's call, um, I want to let everyone know it is of an adult nature. So if there's children in the room or they can hear it, um, try and um, remove them from the room uh, or put on headphones, definitely. And before, we go into the call, I would like to um, have everybody just breathe. It's been a long year, right? And we're beginning a new year, so just relax and, you know, allow yourself to come to the call tonight to be open to receiving. We really need to spend more than love and love because you are worth it, so worth it. <sighs> Mm -hmm. It makes a huge difference, and I think so many um, people are actually, they're seeking love, but something inside of them is afraid of it, you know, so I'm so grateful. But people wouldn't say that, but right? subconsciously, what happens, you can see that we sometimes end up manifesting things that we actually don't want, or we manifest things that are in accordance to what is in the subconscious. So I'm so grateful that you're doing this, really, because a lot of people don't know what you're going to talk about right which is very, very important. You know, people are blocked, they've been through all kinds of experiences, many times, there's even abuse or depression, you know, and um, they don't understand that it's not an issue that something is wrong with them as much as there is something that's not right. 
but they can fix it, and there are solutions, which so many people need to know now. Um, and because you know it's a part of your own story, you're you're really no stranger to all of it. If you could share a bit of your story, it would be awesome because this would help people understand why you're so passionate, passionate about this subject, passionate about helping people, passionate about people understanding um, that there is a whole realm that we can live in known as love with us. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> some, you know, some things um, we kind of keep to ourselves, you know, and we kind of stuff it down, um, <laughs> trying to hide it from the universe and from ourselves and from others, and, you know, walk around and we act like uh, we've got it going on, you know, um, <laughs> and then we get into a situation like a relationship and it comes out, okay? <laughs> and so, like you were saying, we manifest, you know, from our belief systems. We really do. Um, my childhood, right, before I even got here, okay, <laughs> they were taking the pill. So, um, I was what they would call a mistake, okay, because the pill did not work, okay. So, my whole life they were saying, you're just a mistake, you know, um, and you believe it or not, you you feel that in you. So now you become the energy of unwanted, unloved, you know? Um, so that was in me. And I was just a baby hearing that. And for my whole life I heard that. Um, so, you know, I was unwanted. I loved that energy. That thought in me was like, you know, my parents didn't want me. Who else would want me? Um, Around the age of four, I had such uh, depression from being physically beaten up and um, other things uh, they were doing um, and not doing, all right? Um, and so by the age of like three and a half, four, I wanted to leave the planet. I was too, you know, I was too afraid to stay, too afraid to go. Um, and my grandmother was... Uh, Catholic, um, but very intuitive, and she was doing her novena, and she heard a voice out loud say to her, get Marlena out of that house now. So she made the phone call and, you know, was able to get me into her home for a year. So I lived with my grandparents, and there I got, you know, um, what I would call kind of spoiled, um, but with my siblings. Um, and that, but, uh, during that time I learned about angels, I learned about God, I learned about faith and things like that, you know, so it helped me a lot in what I'm doing now. And then, um, a year later my dad had called me and said, you know, bring her home or we're going to have you arrested for kidnapping. So I went home and attacked me in the dark, a small kid at great. Um, and when I got there, you know, back to the old, situation and a week later we got the call that my grandfather died and I was blamed for um, you know his death uh, saying you know because I left that broken heart and he died of a broken heart so for 26 years I carried that belief you know that I was the one guilty of it all right <laughs> so here I am unwanted and feeling you know um, guilty Right? Like I murdered somebody too. Oh boy, was that something. And then, um, you know, hearing, you'll never amount to nothing, you're no good, whatever. Um, you know, tables tipping, your bedroom door flinging open, getting beating up, um, entities, you know, really bad. I had so much fear of, of men, fear of, you know, adults or whatever. And then as a teenager, um, I was filled with severe depression, and um, nothing I did would, you know, um, shake it off. And I started crying out, you know, to God because that's all I knew from my grandmother. And, um, you know, actually, uh, an angel was sent to me and sprinkled like golden stars on me one night. And in the morning, I woke up with no depression, no more fear. I had a positive mindset and 
that was the beginning of the healing. And then, um, you know, as a teenager, I um, was told by the boy, um, you're okay, but your girlfriend's beautiful. You know, so that gives you that low self-esteem, no self-esteem, right? Um, and then I was like, oh, and I had um, hand-me-down clothes, you know, things like that, so you don't feel good about yourself. And so what you vibrate, right, what you pick up, boys that are just going to um, make fun of you, right? And the girls, you know, are just like, um, in your mind you think all the other girls are better than you, they're beautiful and you're not, because that's what you were told. Um, so it's very sad. And one day, I just sat here and I said, this has got to stop, all right? So I just started to grab teenage magazines that I could um, find the money to get. Uh, and I started looking through them, how to cut your hair, how to get rid of acne, you know, things like that. And I started working on myself. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was just really difficult to uh, put up with that because you're being beaten up by your dad. My first um, experience with a boy, uh, he was cheating and he also one day punched me right in the face. All right, so here I am in love with this kid and he's beating me and putting me down. And that was the same thing I was getting at home. So see what happens with that pattern, it comes on you. And then I married fresh out of high school, basically. And that that um, guy there was from what I call like the Little House on the Prairie family. Um, they pray, they talk, they share, you know, they did things together. And I'm watching them like, wow, you know, this is a great family. The dad is there and, you know, he's talking with them all and helping them and supporting them. And then I married him. <laughs> And he turns out to be very similar to my dad. Okay, he starts drinking and beating and cheating and almost killed me a few times. And um, my sister saved my life one night. And an angel saved it another couple times. Um, so, you know, I know what pain is. I know what fear is. But I never gave up. You know what I mean? I never gave up on finding someone that would, you know, um, be a loving soul, be kind, and, you know, not be a drinker, you know what I mean? Not be um, so abusive and in that old vibration or whatever. And I just kept dating different people, experiencing breakups, and, you know, <clears throat> sometimes it would be a great relationship or more like brother and sister, you know? <clears throat> and then someone would come a family member specifically, and um, they made a phone call and told the one that I was really um, getting along with for five and a half years, they're cheating on you. And I'm, not, I'm like, I ain't cheating on you. So they became controlling, you know what I mean? And where are you doing? Where are you going? And I'm like, wow, you know, abusive. And so we ended up breaking up. And I'm like, wow, if you're having a good time, and you're doing good, and then a family member wants to come and bring him. You know, so I was getting hurt on every end, no matter what I did. And it was so awful, the experience. So, <laughs> when I, you know, think about all that pain that I shoved down for years, and my shoulders were bent down, and my face, you know, was so sad, and people were like, why don't you smile, you know? And at that time, my initials were M-A-D, mad, okay? And I was like, boy, do they fit, right? When I thought about it, I said, wow. So, you know, um, this is some of the background. There's more um, things, but this is about what people need to hear tonight. That I know what I'm talking about when it comes to family patterns, abuse, entity, you know? And those relationships that you thought were the one, and it ended up not to be the one because your vibration didn't match the vibration 
of the one that was right for you. Okay? And that's what we're going to really dig in deep tonight about. Um, trying to help people to understand about vibration. Okay? Because energy is a vibration. Uh, love is a vibration. Okay? Um, so, I ask people, um, basically, how is your love account? Right? We're always talking about the bank account. How about your love account? Right? Your energy account. Right? So, we're going to talk about energy, energy account. Um, so, think about your love, your relationship status, whatever it is right now. Okay? That's your love account. Okay? So, we want to invest in our love, in our love account, starting with us. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. It's okay. so amazing. So, so, so. uh, uh, how old were you able to pull yourself out of that? I mean, we're so grateful that you're here, but for so long to have so much going on, it's amazing that you are at a place of such joy and peace. And I know you well enough to know that you really are at a place of joy and peace. So, what on earth did you do to turn all this around? How do you? What what did you do to get yourself shifted, and then what did you do to maintain that peace and happiness? I mean, There's so much. It's amazing that you, you were able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you get stronger, number one, but then you get determined. Okay. And my thing was, enough is enough. Okay. I am not going to put in that um, reporter. You know. Um, back then we used tape recorders, and I said, I'm going to stop playing the tape that my mother and father were playing, okay? And I just, in the energy field, I took my uh, vision and cracked that tape in half, okay? Um, and threw it in the garbage, and I began a new journey. I began investing in me, all right? I said, well... All right, I'm a teenager. I got severe acne. I can't stand my hair. Um, what can I do? All right, so I bought scissors and um, I said I'm going to learn how to cut my own hair. Um, I'm going to get a curling iron and a blow dryer since they just came out with them then. Before that, it was rollers or those things or whatever. That never made to look beautiful. So anyway, I'm like, all right, and then what do they do with their skin? when they got severe acne, all right? So I learned to uh, get some sun on my skin. I went up on the roof for one whole week. I skipped school. I said, I'm investing in me. I'm not. So I got so tan. I looked like I was from another country. Um, I also bought this stuff that was in the magazine. It was a mud mask. It said put it on once, um, like a week. I said, no, I'm putting it on once a day. I had a green face, okay, um, you know, twice a day. And uh, my acne disappeared. My skin cleared up. I learned how to cut my hair. I said, all right, secondhand clothing. I uh, got a little part-time job in a park in the summer. So, and um, invested in, you know, clothes um, of my own. And I started feeling good about me, how I felt. It mattered how I felt, right? Not how these other people felt. Um, that was the beginning of the healing. Uh, healing me, the me that I really was. And I started smiling. I would walk down the street all by myself, no friends, you know what I mean? Um, and go find a bench and sit down. And I started meeting people. I started making friends. And, um, you know, they, um, you know, were like shocked. And then one day, this was amazing. My sister and I, she's in heaven now, we took a walk. And we're going to the swimming pool. And our friends were coming towards us. And they said hi to her. And... She says, hi, and they said, who's that with you? And she said, that's her. They're like, no way. That is not her. That's how much I changed my outer appearance. 
or when the outer appearance changed, at the same time I was changing my inner. So my inner healing was taking place. And I kept praying, you know, um, help me, help me. And then I met, you know, um, a really nice boyfriend, and we lasted for the five and a half years through high school. And um, I learned that I could be loved, okay, unconditionally, until someone broke that up, okay. And then I met the husband, went through that challenge. <clears throat> and when they tried to come back, I said, no way. I'm done with that, okay. So <clears throat> then I went on and spent 25 years, I would say, with the same man. Okay, he calls me every day still. All right, um, helpful, loving, kind, nurturing. Now we live in two different states, but we're still, you know, really close. Um, and that was good. And then I went and I got uh, myself out in this area. As people here are like, you'll never meet somebody with a good job in this area. So that's you, right? I have a different attitude. I'm healing and healing and healing and stepping up my, you know, my self-image, my self-worth. I work on me, okay? I don't care what your energy is or what you're thinking or saying about me. It has nothing to do with me. I'm investing in my love account, my love account in me, my self-worth, my self-love. So, you know, um, met somebody for a while, um, and then they were gone. So I said, okay, that's good, next. Um, and I ignored it and did my thing, and then I met um, this new person. And this new person is exactly what I um, asked for. Happy, you know, um, contented, loving, kind, considerate person with a great job, business, okay? So where I'm at now, is in an even higher level, okay, of receiving the right, you know, um, life partner, okay? I'm not into chasing men, okay? They need to chase women, okay? Um, and I feel like if you are right, you you will, um, you know, stay. Um, if you're not, you're out, right? The universe works with us. Um, when you complain about something, the universe will take it away, okay? And that's the truth. So if you keep complaining about something in your life, uh, the universe will change it. They'll say, well, if you, you know, want that goodbye, okay? So many relationships break up um, because of that, all right? And then you're sitting there going, why did they leave me? You know what I mean? <laughs> It's all my fault or whatever. So we have to learn, you know, to respect ourselves, invest in ourselves, who we honor, right? Just who we honor, we will invest in, okay? So honor yourself first and invest in yourself, okay? The rest will follow. The more you invest in you and your inner you in your heart, that is your center of your being, your heartbeat, okay? It brings life. So your heart needs to be nurtured, it needs to be loved, it needs to be taken care of. Um, so when you want to know how, <laughs> after almost being murdered and, you know, not wanting, not loved, abused, feeling really terrible about yourself, um, coming out of that darkness. People might want to call it, you know, like the dark night of the soul that went on for a long time, like 26 years basically, until I really realized, oh, well, we need to heal this, right? And we need to come out of that. We need to exchange that energy for something awesome. So <laughs> I started to laugh. I started to dance. I started to go out and have fun, you know, um, moving your body, energizing it, looking good, feeling good, right? Um, springing your step when you walk through your hair bounces. That's when you know um, you're in your power, empowerment, 
So I kept investing in me, all right? And nobody laughed anymore. They were asking me, how did you do that, right? <laughs> you know, you just, you just keep going. You never give up. But what are you searching for? It's inside of you, right? And when you're sitting there, I'm searching for the partner. They're searching for you. Okay? So we're going to invest in ourselves and everything else that, in the way, is going to start to dissipate and bring you into that vibration so that you match what you truly deserve and not what you've been looking for with your mind but with your heart. That is so beautiful. And I know that I want to let everybody know out there um, that if you want to talk to Marlena, please push the this or send your messages in and we'll take some messages in a moment. So basically, Marlena, are you talking about being able to just do radical self-care and self-love because your story is amazing. A lot of people don't make it to that place. You know what I mean? They get discouraged or feel too wounded, which really is indicative of your healing capacity. You made the journey yourself. And so now you can help others make this journey. But what was that the backbone of it? Why do you think you didn't give up? Other people got they get so trampled and then they don't know how to lift their head up again. What was the key factor? Was it just, I'm going to keep going, I know it's going to happen with it, but was it safe? What was it? Well, all the above, <laughs> I, like I said, the angels came, right, when I cried out, oh, you know, help me. <laughs> you want me here, you know, I, I just don't want to be here in this family. Why did you put me in this family? You know what I mean? That was the beginning of it. Um, and then I was scared to die, I was scared to live, and then my grandmother was alerted, get her out of there now, you see, because we have a plan for her. They took the pill, it didn't work, okay, that tells me there. Then I was sitting there with a hammer, that should have killed me, okay, those holes were closed up in front of the doctor's eyes miraculously, okay, then, <laughs> there was other times when, you know, uh, I almost lost my life, and I was safe, right, my ex-husband, would get alcoholed up and try to shoot me, all right, things like that, try to drown me in a river, okay? Um, then one night, he was hiding behind the door, and I have my sister in the car, thankfully, and he tried to kill me by choking me, and I was blacking out um, and saying, not now, God, you know, I got a baby now and all that. And my sister was alerted three times to get in there now by a voice out loud. So I'm telling you that I'm supposed to be here, okay? And I kept going, um, okay, you know, if you want me to do something, you got to help me, you got to strengthen me. Because it was not fun, okay? <laughs> I was living on eggshells in that house. Um, and then I broke free and said no more. Okay, so it takes a no more of that abuse, no more of that pattern. Okay, I refuse it. Okay, and then the universe is like, it's about time. What do you choose? Okay, so then I was like, my subconscious mind was so used to what I, you know, learned. We learn from our parents what a relationship is. And we don't know no better, right? Well, we're looking at everybody else who's happy and holding hands and this and that. Or we're hearing how happy they are and they're getting married and you're like, oh, you know? Um, and so you you grow and you, you keep going. And I had this, like, determination, like, in me. And it had to come from the spirit, you know? The spirit in me was like, I know there's something better to life than this, okay? Um, so that, you know, that in itself really helped me a lot just to say enough of that, I'm not going to, you know, rewind that tape. And I had the same name as my mom, so it was like, you know, um, people are saying, well, you're just like your mother. That's when I realized, like, oh, no, I'm not. Okay? 
guy. <laughs> and, you know, um, thing, you know, people would say different things to me, and I would be like, oh no, I'm not like that. No way. And if I would find it in me, I would remove it. Okay? Um, I was like determined to get to a better place in my life. Not wearing hand-me-downs and being on welfare and keep moving and moving. Watching, you know, after my dad left for seven years. Watching my mom struggle and, you know, uh, different men that would just come and go. You know what I mean? So I was not realizing that I was grown up in that and it happened to me too. So it was like the pattern. And now I'm like, that's enough that. Okay? It's time for me. <laughs> and my joy, alright? They must have had that joy somewhere going through that because they tolerated it, okay? And seven years later, my dad came back home. So I had to put up a three years, three and a half years of screaming, yelling, blah, 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 blah. Oh no. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I never looked back at that. I looked forward, okay? At what can I do differently, right? What will I do, right? That's different. That's unique, all right? That's for me. And then when I started healing me, other people were coming. You know, can you help me? You know, and I didn't even know that I had this, like, calling on my life to help people. But, you, you know, if I never experienced any of that, I couldn't be sitting here doing this. Right. Right. So there's a great benefit in the fact that you went through it, but it's amazing that you had enough courage to know that you were going to take it out of yourself and that was going to work. You know what I mean? Just these ideas. I hear so many people talk about, you know, how do they get better? But just the way that you're expressing it and explaining it, such determination. And like you said before, clearly you were supposed to be here. You had witnessed so many times. When your life was something happened, there was some form of divine intervention. And that played into your concept of yourself and what you were capable of. It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I sit here sometimes and I shake my head like, wow, you know. Um, you know, near death experiences and things like that can um, let you know if you're still here, there's a reason that you're supposed right. to be here. Everything you went through up to now is something that you have learned, you got stronger, wiser, and you can help somebody else. Right. Okay? If you're willing, right? The universe um, saying, okay, well, you went through that, you know, divorce or whatever you went through. So if someone comes in your life and they're going through a divorce, you can help them. You can be their friend, right? And help them through it. All right. If a person I deal with all kinds of clients, I had a man, um, and he had a closed up heart chakra. All right, and he didn't know it. He was trying to get dates and all, and he never could get any. <laughs> we worked put together, and it wasn't long. His friends like would invite him out, and he wouldn't go. And then one night he decided, why not? And then he meets a beautiful lady and they hit it off and they're getting married, you know. So he opened his heart chakra, right? So he was just closed up because of pain, all right, that he experienced in his childhood, right? And I had another lady, she didn't date for over 20 years. And she said, I'm too old. You know, she had every excuse to break. And I worked with her, she did the packages, oh, and then she said, okay, my friend invited me to a house party. I said, no, I ain't going. She was one of them people that was like a hermit, you know, uh, introvert, and, and she still wanted to meet somebody. And I'm saying, how can you meet somebody in your house? Unless it's a repairman, okay? Um, so her friend invites her, and she finally talked her into going, and she went, and a really nice man approached her at the house party and they were both wearing pink shirts and pink is the color of romance okay <laughs> um, 
She loves cooking. He loves cooking. They did it all. Um, and she said they had a second date coming up. And she was a little nervous, but she was good with it. Okay? And then we talked after that, and they were going to write a cookbook together. I mean, this is stuff that just happened. A lady went to get food. She's waiting for like 40 minutes for her food. A beautiful man standing there talking to her for 40 minutes. You know? So they hit it off. And he told her where he worked. So I said to her, um, you want to meet him again? You know, because you left and whatever, and you were nervous, we'll never see him again. He told you where he worked. Go meet him after work. Get your guts and go. All right? So she did. You know? So see, it's got to be action. All right? <laughs> we have to take action. So what action can we take that heals up? And gets us to the point where we are at that vibration. And that's what I was doing with me. Right? And working. <laughs> yeah, and making your life better and better and better. And changing frequency, frequency, frequency. And not suddenly. It's not about, about another person. It's about not settling for situations that don't work for you. Yeah, I had to, you know, think about, invest in yourself, and, um, you know, the rest will follow. It's like, free your mind. There's an old song, um, which it, it has a verse in it, you know, free your mind and the rest will follow. Okay? <laughs> and, uh, it's just amazing how, um, people are not realizing, okay, um, that they're still attached to somebody else, okay, at times, and they're wondering, like, why um, can I really, you know, find that partner, or why won't they stay, what's going on with me, it's me, you know, it's, no, you're still attached to the old person or people, so that's another thing, um, you know, so <clears throat> I always say, I said to myself, you know, what energy do I have to receive to receive absolute joy? So when you ask yourself, what energy do I have to be, right, <laughs> to receive my life partner? Right? That is a quality partner, a high quality partner. Okay? We all can get a low quality partner anytime we want. Make a phone call, right? Mm -hmm. If you just say to the universe, I want a man, any kind of man's going to show up. I want a woman, any kind of woman will show up. That vibration from your childhood, bam, bam, bam. We don't want that. We want high quality partners. Okay? Those that are in a high vibrational frequency, um, that know their value and you know your value. Okay? So when you know your value, you start investing in you. Okay? It's not about them anymore. It's about you. Okay? So what vibration do you have to be to receive absolute love? If you don't have that, you're on the right path. If you're still attached to somebody else's energy, relationships, you know, you need to cut that, or right? separate you from that. Some people are still stuck, um, feeling in love with somebody who left them, right? Went on and married somebody else, and they're like, uh, can you do something to bring them back? They've been going for 20 years to remarry with kids. No. Why are you still stuck? Because there's four detachments. Right? So, um, that's sad when somebody's still like that, in love with somebody that abused them so much and left them and remarried, and you haven't had a date in 20 years. I work with them, and I get them set free. Um... My heart is going to um, people 
you know what I mean, like, are better for me. Okay. Um, even in marriages, there's lack of communication, so they're in toleration. There, there's something I have to share, adult nature, um, it's in the package, but uh, there are people that have hmm, left with people, okay, and those people had entities stuck to their body parts, okay, rather gross, and if they were on the man, on his part, it goes inside the woman. The woman suddenly can't conceive children. She suddenly feels some disease. Okay, itching is a very um, prevalent, you know, some of my clients. Um, their life was good until they dated that person. They want to know why the person leaves. Okay. Now they're stuck with that. They can't get their life back until they get worked on and healed. Okay? So that needs to be addressed. The same with a woman. Okay? When the man does the, you know, and the woman has the entity. They attach to the man. It's worse for the woman because it's in her body. Okay? So the entities love to transfer. It's not a great subject, but I got to bring it forward. Okay. So everybody that has, you know, um, has several relationships, the people's cords are still there. Okay. If your life fell apart, you lost your job, your money went down, your business went down. Um, you feel like you're cursed, or you know, something like that. We got to address that. So I want to bring that forward tonight, right? Because it's very important that we get rid of it. Right? The entities want to hide. They don't want us to know they're there. But we know. Okay? We know. We're not dumb. Okay? The spirit in us tells us. Okay? Something's wrong here. Right? So that's what we want to address as well. Get rid of that energy from the past relationship. Okay? Cutting the cords. If someone passed away, um, we also need to set you free and them free. So that you're not grieving over them. That you are uh, set free and able to continue your life. You know, rather be in a uh, fire singlehood um, or, um, you know, being free to invite a new partner in, you know, that you can share the rest of your life with. Which is much better to have someone there with you, okay? Um, even during COVID, right? You can meet people even during COVID, all right? I've had many clients do it recently, <laughs> and they're very happy now. So that's what we're working on. We're working on the love inside of us, okay? What can we do to invest in ourselves and honor ourselves, raise our vibration, okay? And ask ourselves the question. Right? How much love is in your bank account? Right? How much more would you like? Right? Is your bank account empty? And I'm not talking your bank account where your money is. I'm talking about in your heart. Okay? Just picture your heart as a bank account. Right? What's in there? What stories are in there that are stopping you from being filled up? Right? So we're working on the heart chakra. We're working on you. So everybody listening right now is thinking. Right? right? So you might be single. You might be desperate. We want to get you out of desperation. Right? We don't want you meeting a uh, desperate soul. Right? So what vibration are you in right now? What vibration do you need to be to receive? The life partner that is a high quality partner. Let's ponder on that. Okay. For those of you there that have given up on love, 
because you've been hurt so much. We're going to go into your heart. And we're going to open up your heart right now to start allowing some light in there, some healing in there. And all you uh, that are resisting love, put up those heart walls. We're going to start taking down heart walls. All right, because some have brick walls in front of their heart. Some have little boxing gloves on. Mm -hmm. And they're fighting off anybody who comes into their life. Right? And every one of us has a suitcase that we carry with us. We're carrying around energetic suitcases full of beliefs, hurts, experiences, and we keep adding into it every time something happens. Put that in the suitcase. Shove it down in there. And then our bodies and our energy is so low, and we're so drained and so tired and so exhausted, full of pain, aches, and diseases kicking in. Right? So I'm saying tonight, let go of the suitcase and take off the boxing glove and allow loving and Finding real love, true love, starts within you and I, and then above that. We want to go even higher than that, right? into the vibration of real love, pure love. What is that? What vibration do we need to be in? Let's locate that vibration. Locate the vibration of real love for yourself. Do you have that vibration running in your body? Is it running in your life? If not, it's time to allow it to. And what do you have to do? You have to invest in yourself. And this year is a year where hmm, it's a go-getter year. A year to set goals and expand and learn and expand even more. 2021 is not a year to sit down and wait. Because the things will pass you by. So this year we're going to just start locating our vibration. Where's your vibration right now? Find it. It will answer you. Well, <laughs> powerful. Mm -hmm. So do we have any questions, Julia? Yeah, let's take a question from Diana. Hi, Marlena. I'm in a relationship for 17 years, and we are living separate lives. We still love each other, but I wish we were closer, like when we first met. Is there anything that could help to heal this relationship? Of course there is. There's still hope when you're still there. Okay? So, <clears throat> it's too hard that our attached to love. But there's hurt, there's pain, there's miscommunication. What vibration do you need to be, Diana, that you're not right now? That brings you out of that separation. What vibration does your partner have to be in? To match that vibration of love with you. So we want to work on that. Investing in the packages tonight, which we'll talk about soon. See which one resonates with you. Alright, there's one for men, there's one for women, there's one for both. Or we had to go deeper. Rekindling your love is your desire. And if he's on the same page, that's a good thing. 
your communication speed, understanding, forgiveness. Okay? And going back on dates like you did in the beginning. Alright? Finding the things you both enjoy, doing things together, setting a date night would help a lot. Yeah. Okay, so this is so beautiful. Thank you for your question, Diana. Let's take another one from Rebecca. Hi, Marlena. I'm seeking to heal from my most recent relationship where I was hurt and used. I also know that I have a deep fear about love in general. I would love to have a wonderful relationship. Thank you for any help, love, Rebecca. Yeah. Hmm. He would happen is we're desperate. Okay. So anybody who shows up, right? We don't look at the red flags. Because our subconscious mind is feeding on the past on what we grew up in. And then we fall in love with whomever might show a little attention. And then they leave. In her case, she felt used, abused, pushed aside, cheated on. It's probably a pattern. Now her heart's broken. And down goes your self-esteem. All right. Can you say enough is enough? I'm not going to support that vibration anymore in my life. I love you. Thank you for the experience. Okay. I forgive you. We got to forgive them. Because they were coming in to match our vibration. The vibration of desperation and toleration. All right. And that's what we have all done. Everyone has it done. You will know that you have done it. Because you have so many people that you've dated before, married before, that were showing up to match that vibration. Okay. So one or the other got hurt. All right. We hurt from people too. Okay? So, what we want to do is invest in ourselves. And for her, we begin with package A for her, for the women. And ask yourself, what vibration do I want to be in? Sadness, depression, grief, feeling bad? Or do I want to feel in my hour? See, we gotta make that choice. Anybody can be sad for a year if they want to be. I know I was. Many years. Then one day I said, that's enough. I choose to be happy. I choose to love me and invest in me. And then the right person came along after so many you know, experience. What we're looking for is an experience. What kind of experience would you love to experience? Okay? A guy who loves you, a woman who cares about you, right? Who stays with you, who the thick and the thick, who talks, you know, and listens, who shares, who cares, right? Who helps, who supports. Right? Right? They have a good job. Okay? Either way. Now a man, seriously, is looking for a happy, contented woman who has a life of her own. Right? Not looking for a woman who, woe is me, he hurt me, they don't want to hear that. Right? And we gotta stop chasing them and stop calling them. Let them chase us, let them call us ladies. So men that are listening or will be listening, we want you to know we can go back to being romantic and opening car doors because you know what? That's what women need. 
All right? Women, it's time to invest in yourself. It's time to start a business. Get yourself busy. Start making an income. Okay? Start getting out there with your gifts, your talents, this year. The relationship that you have or going to have is going to show up on the vibration that you're at. So if you're in sadness mode, breakup mode, rebound, you're going to get a rebound. Right? So we want you healed. Right? We want your vibration only open to receive the highest quality partner. So your vibration has to be there. And that's what I'm here to help people with. So broken hearts. We're going to send healing energy into the broken heart energy on this floor. Anywhere we ever had a broken heart. Known or unknown. Anywhere we're carrying other people's broken heart pain. Let's release and let all that go now and let our heart chakras open. Open and receive love, peace, healing now. No more putting band-aids on it. Take the band-aids off. Let that, oh, that wound heal. And yes, men, you do need to cry. Real men do cry. They don't shove it down. They let it out so they can heal. Wow. Healing, yeah. So a lot of healing is taking place. Yeah, very calming energy flowing through people right now. Can you feel that? Yeah, it feels amazing. Mm -hmm. I feel very calm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we'll all have a peaceful feeling night even when we go to lay down. You know, I can feel it all. The angels are going to be with you, people. And, um, what a, you know, not real open heart surgery, but yeah, something like that, like angel heart surgery. <laughs> oh my God, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I feel the truth running. I feel such good. Let's do one more question before we get to the package. And then you have a process. Do you want to do the process before the package or after? Oh, we'll do it after. That way people can, you know, call, receive. Okay, so um, Hi, Marlene. My dad cheated on my mom and constantly shows this to me and my sister. I wonder if my mom will ever heal, but I also know I don't want to have this pattern in my life. I just don't want to attract this kind of man in my life, although my last ex was the same. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> for, you know, refusing to accommodate that, all right? And learning, you see, your pattern, right? She didn't want to attract it, right? And that's what happened. You see? Um, one way or another, it finds you because you only know that. So somebody similar with a different face shows up. And the women are looking for their dads and the um, men are looking for somebody like their mom. Okay? So when you have a pattern like that, um, you can't leave it like that and think it's going to go away because it does not. Okay? You need to invest in yourself. So for this beautiful being here, um, package A, you know, um, definitely, definitely invest in that, and let's get you um, on a higher vibration, so you no longer have that, so um, you're free to uh, experience a, you know, life partner, and I'm not talking about soulmates, because um, your friends can be your soulmates, right? People have it wrong. Soulmates come and go, all right? We want a life partner, one that stays for life, okay? Mm. So souls um, 
you exchange energy every day. You go to work, there's your soulmate. <laughs> and that's the way I look at it. All right? So I'm looking for a life partner, right? So a soulmate is just somebody that you, you know, connect with um, in friendship, you know, in relationships and dating and things like that. That's great. But my mind said, I want a life partner, someone who's here for life, and not somebody I have to keep fighting for, you know? Um, and some people think so much, this person showed up and they're my soulmate, and um, we're separated over there, and, you know, he doesn't want to commit. Then why are you wasting your time? You know? So, women, we need a life partner. Men, you need a life partner. All right? And yeah, you do have to go through um, healing, all right? In order to get the high quality partner. All right? So, even in your marriage, all right? Marriages, in the house, all right? What vibration do you have to be to keep that marriage? What attracted you to the goal? Right? Date, fun time, right? You gotta keep that goal. Don't let yourself go. You know what I mean? Don't ignore each other and think, oh well, they're here. They know. They don't know. They need to feel your love, both partners, okay, to keep it going. And right now with being confined in your home, you might be arguing. So it also would benefit from the package to, you know, keep that energy going, to invest in yourself, in your relationship. Rather you're, you know, alone, or you're dating, or you got a broken heart recently, or you've been divorced, and all these things are covered, okay? But we want to heal your heart first, okay? And there's people that I've dealt with, they said, I don't want to, you know, ever be in another relationship again, right? They're so angry about it. I said, that's fine, but let's heal you from that, so you're not carrying that anger and bitterness around with you. So you can be free to be you and do what you want to do with you, right? So that's what we're working on tonight. So beautiful. Uh, Diana writes back and says, thank you so much for the advice, honey. You are so welcome. So, for everybody who is on the call right now, let's go to, wow, I am so full of money. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'm going to go to my laptop right now, and I'm going to look at Arlena's special offer, uh, the special offer that she's made available at this particular time, um, love and above. So that we can understand that the most important thing we can do is really get this one down. As she would say, you know, uh, let's take a look at this. It's beautiful. February is a month of love, the time of year when your heart is most open to the unlimited possibilities and ready to experience real love. Let me ask you a question. When is the last time you really felt good about yourself? Um, and then she talks about the benefits of finding love and about products. Clear out all trauma and heartache. Open up your heart chakra and clear heart wall. Reprogram the subconscious mind to love that you choose the art, set yourself free from attachments, vows, agreements, curses, negativity affecting your life. Remove all intimate male seeds planted during intercourse. Remove all feminine fluids planted during intercourse. You will then be free to receive a loving and lasting relationship or a beautiful one in your hand. A beautiful magical healing is about to take place within your very core. This package is designed for men and women. There are three unique packages. Package A is for women, package B is for men, and package B is for men and women. Remember, you are lovable, good enough, sexy enough, free, 
Once you embrace the fact that you are the energy of pure source love and embody it, you will be set free. Come on this journey with me as we clear away the past, cut all the emotional cords, remove heart walls, take out intimate male foods, remove female residue, break curses and any unconscious negative learned patterns that sabotage your relationship. Um, again, finding two love and about four adults only. Um, Marlena, can you talk about what you have made possible? Yes. Um, <laughs> the first thing <clears throat> is what you just spoke of. You kind of covered 90% of what we're doing. Um, I do want to say that all right, your relationship, okay, status, is not going any farther than it is now in that energy vibration you're in. Did you hear that? Your relationship status is not going any farther okay, than it is right now in that energy vibration that you're in. Okay? So, where's your energy vibration for your love? Okay, what is your love bank full of? Kaka? Okay. Or some kaka? I'm using a nice word. <laughs> I don't like to use the other words, okay? I'm not like that. But <clears throat> what we're working on now is feeling the up, okay? To be absolutely free. And you might as well be awesome. All right, you might as well be awesome, All right? Why hurt? They're not hurt. They're going somewhere, okay? So we're less hurt holding the why and the what ifs and she's great. And we don't need to do that anymore. So what I put together was three, three packages. My computer like playing music. Um, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's, it's just telling me like, you know, different messages, and I'm like, stop it, okay, so anyway, um, package A was put aside for the women only, okay, and the track one, everybody on this planet should do this in their own time, I can work with somebody in sessions, okay, and they bounce back sometimes to certain things, okay, so, in 30 minutes or an hour, it's great. We got together, we moved a lot of energy, but they're still not there yet. So they need to work on themselves, okay? So the first track is clearing. All the contracts, all the vows, all the agreements, okay, that was done, that you don't even know of, right? And I didn't know that there was a contract going on in my family that no marriages would work out, right? People are moving out on each other. Uh, I watch my family. I can look at them right now. We're all in different states, okay? Um, yeah, there's a lot of alcohol and you know, breakups and it's you know, awful. So I had a break and that's why I carry the contract, the vows, the agreements, the family rivalry, you know, um, subliminal. We have subliminal messages that need to get in there, okay, and override those beliefs. So that's a serious track, okay, and then track two is love and accept yourself, all right? I love and accept myself, all right? People can't say that and be honest, mm -mm. because they look in the mirror and they go, oh, okay, because we were taught that we need to look like Barbie. And the men need to, you know, look like um, the Hulk. All right. And they have these beliefs. Nobody will love me if I have this wrinkle or this gray hair, right? Or whatever else it is. Uh, so you start beating up yourself. So we need track two. But we need to go in order. So we got to cut the cords. Then we come in and we can start filling ourselves up from what we just removed. Okay. And we love and accept ourselves. All right. And then we know it. We know that we're sexy. Okay, from the inside out, all right, because we start loving ourselves, and you can listen to that track several times to get it, okay, and it's uh, subliminal music with affirmation, and it's awesome, and then track three, we are filling ourselves now, all right, 
And what we're doing now is we're going to add for the women supernatural beauty and charm. Because I myself was told you're ugly, you're not pretty enough. Okay? So, I know what I am doing for. Alright? Um, use the subliminal often to become supernaturally beautiful and charming and feel it. And people start turning their heads and noticing you. Right? And the, the um, uh, heart chakra, the walls that you put up, they start coming down and people start noticing you and saying, oh, I like your hair. Oh, you're pretty. You know? And you start meeting people that are on that vibration and we're raising the vibration as we work on it. Um, track four, after all that, you start becoming irresistible to your life partner. Okay, so you're raising your vibration to magnetize your life partner only. Okay, so your mind is going to shift and it's going to start changing. All right, now track five, all right, balancing and restoring your female energy. Okay, um, so that you really feel back in your body, right? Balancing that female energy because sometimes we were more in the male energy, okay? Because of the way our lives were. We had to be the sole breadwinners and things like that. So we lost a lot of our femininity, all right? So working with that, that would be one to lay down and just allow it to do its work, okay? Track six, very serious. Um, that track, uh, I kind of talked about it a little bit, but I want you to do it in a private um, setting. So that's removing all the intimate male seeds that were planted in you from having relationships, okay? Um, I'm going to guide you through the process. It's like we're having a session. Uh, should be used in a private, quiet space. It's very personal details, okay? I'm going to give you stuff there for adults only. And then track seven for that is <clears throat> opening your heart to love. Okay, so once we clear out all this stuff, we are going to open our hearts. Okay, open your heart space. We're going to take down the heart walls. All right, when your heart is open and free, it expands its vibration of pure love and it starts to attract only pure love in return. So you have a vibrational match. So, ladies, package A to begin with. Okay. Everybody should start there. Um, only do like the first track and take a break, okay? And then come back the next day and do track two. So don't rush through it because you need to do track one for the first 24 hours and clear that stuff out. Some of you might need to do it for a whole week, depending on if you were attacked or raped, okay? Um, adopted, not wanted. Right? So you really want to invest in yourself if you really get determined to heal and get set free. Like the last question, uh, the person said, I don't want that in my life. Okay? And they attracted it. And we don't want it going any further. So that person should invest in package A to begin with and start it tonight. Okay? How determined are you? That's the question. Package B is for men. Okay? Um, we do the clearing all contracts, files, and agreements, the cord cutting with the men. All right. Um, subliminal track. Uh, you can play this and be cooking. You know what I'm saying? If you want to. Um, instead of watching TV, sit down and play it. All right. And play it a few times to get rid of that. Stuff you don't even know about. All right. Oh, stuff that is just very deep. And it's working behind the scenes against us. So that's what we're clearing out. And men and women. So this is B for men. All right. And you may buy it for your partner as well. Okay. So both of you have one. All right. And you both invest in your relationship. Um, and track two has the for men, love and accept yourself. All right. I love and accept myself. Because some women put that men down. So the men's ego is shocked. Okay, um, and that's what happens. Men will not admit it, all right, because they're very quiet and they hold it all down and it starts to hurt the back. Women, it starts to hurt your stomach, all right. So, this is what happens, and then you're afraid to 
you know, ever invest again, right? Or if you're afraid to open your heart again because you get hurt, this is great. Track three, for the man, get back your supernatural charm that you had, okay, it belongs to you. So that's your subliminal track, all right? Um, that one there, um, I had to um, work outside, okay, because when it's man's energy, I didn't want it in me, basically. I could feel it happening, and I'm like, no, no, um, I'm going outside to work on this one, so that's wonderful, all right? <laughs> and then track um, four, you're going to become irresistible to your life partner, so we're going to raise your vibration to magnify your life partner, okay? Um, track five, balancing and restoring your male energy, okay? Only men should be listening to that, okay? Because it's embodying energetic ecstasy for the man, okay? Um, and that's what the man needs to have, his vibration back. Um, so you don't need the red pill, let's put it that way, okay? Being kind here. Um, because sometimes your uh, emotions are what's causing those male problems, all right? Uh, and your counts go down, all right? Cell phones can do that too, so it's a good thing, guys, not to put the cell phone in your pocket, all right? Listening very carefully to that. Subliminal track, all right? Listen to it why you're laying down to receive the full benefits, okay? The energy is going to balance and restore your male energy. You may experience a rebooting of your testosterone and return of your staying power. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, track six, uh, we're going to work with that. We're going to remove all your past relationships, okay? Um, your intimate female residue that was left on you. All right, removing that, removing the cord and the attachment to it. So you can be free and you can get back your, you know, life force energy. Um, and possibly bring in a better income, whatever, just from being set free from all the other people's energy. All right. Um, and you'll see on the screen, there's a, a little picture that I put there and it says seed bank. Okay. <laughs> so that was given to me by spirit, all right? Um, so the seed bank, we want to ask how many seeds are in the bank, all right? How many? We want to increase them, all right? So um, we're going to guide you through that process, all right? Very personal, private, adult only, all right? Same for the women, adult only for that. Track seven, open in your heart to love, all right? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to open up your heart space. Take down your heart wall. We're going to open up your heart. So it expands to the vibration of pure love and attracts only pure love in return. All right? The intention here is to be open to receiving your right and perfect relationship matches. Okay? And it will attract your life partner, better opportunities, great friends, more invites, feeling alive, happy, sexy, and free, okay, handsome for the men, okay, popular, all right, I can see it's for men and women, all right, I call it the fire starter, all right, you'll see a pair of scissors cutting that red cord, you'll see the contracts being burned up because what we have to do is burn the old marriage record, you've been married before, separated, divorced, whatever, you need to be trapped. All right, guided meditation where we go to the Akashic records and destroy them totally. Together, we destroy their beliefs, the contracts, emotions, attachments, family history, setting you free. Okay? This will allow you to be available now to have the best relationship ever. Track to aligning with your divine life partner. We're going to have a guided meditation. Right? I'm going to take you deep inside your soul, asking you certain questions. You're to take notes. You'll be amazed at what we find. Track three really helped me a lot, okay? From soil to spoiled black. Okay? All right. We're tired of being treated like dirt. It's time to be spoiled rotten. So, all right? Simply amazing daily motivation. No matter what you 
experience trauma, guilt, shame, abuse, feeling dirty, etc. We're going to clear it all immediately. When you listen to the track daily, you're going to be royal rot. Treated like royalty because you are royalty. Um, track four is can you believe it? Love yourself. So we need to come into believing it. And that track is going to help you. Track five is the last straw. Okay, so we're going to make one last week going through everything we've cleared, all right, and sucking every last drop of residue left after those clearings we just did. Track six, dial at night. You can play it overnight. It's going to amp up your manifestation, okay? Uh, turn it on and go to sleep, all right? Allow the magical music to flow and bring you back um, to your authentic, amazing self. Track seven, romance, restore earth. That's what the one uh, couple needs right now. This track seven definitely, along with both tracks for each other. So it's a silent MP3, supercharged with Reiki, and energetic codes to restore the romance. Uh, so we're going to to restore the desire and passion for one another. We're going to clear the heart chakra. You can play it when your partner's with you and let them know, or you can play it overnight and not let them know. That's up to you because it's silent. All right. So that's what I've put together. Um, for everyone. So you have three choices to make. Okay, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful. It's time for, uh, I guess, to go into the practice. We have a few more minutes. Yeah. And I'm grabbing my heart chakra bowl. Okay? Now, everyone here and on the replay, including us, is going to receive right now i want you to close your eyes drop your shoulders okay and breathe <clears throat> we're going to open up the heart chakra to receive right now Call in the angel team that works with you, the angel team that works with your heart, your love team, your healing team. <sighs> Opening up your heart in the front and in the back, clearing out all the darkness. All the sadness, all that heaviness you're carrying. Oh, letting it out just run out like muddy water. We're going to turn on that faucet and let the tears that are collected inside of your heart to come out through the front, through the back. Pouring them out right now, letting them out. So healing energy can flow in its place. Anywhere you still feel angry, please forgive right now by stating out loud, I choose to forgive and name them deep. I release and let you go. I open my heart to let divine love and light in. Open your heart even wide and even wide, letting in the 24 karat gold healing frequency, the energy of love, the energy of the universe, to open up your heart wide and lay it before you 
as if it was an open book, showing you all the things you've been carrying, showing you what you hmm, need to heal, revealing to you that there's nothing wrong with you. It was not your fault. It was the energy, the vibration, clearing all those ideas that it was your fault, that you weren't good enough, that you weren't lovable, and the idea that nothing works for you was clearing that mess. And just because your parents had such an awful time together, it's in your little book. Does not mean that you have to keep on allowing that pattern in your life and forward. Come and receive the healing now. Open yourself up to the new vibration of infinite possibilities for you of meeting your life partner. Anywhere you're resisting, there it now, release, release that resistance and let it go. Open your heart. I'm opening up the little golden heart door on the front of your heart and on the back of your chest. And allowing all that pressure out, it's flowing out, it's leaving. There's a lot of pressure in there. And filling through the back with a beautiful golden hose from heaven, from the universe, the angels are carrying the hose in. And they're spraying it in your heart with 24 karat gold energy and filling your heart right now with gold energy. Gold, gold, more gold, more gold, more gold. And expanding the heart wider in the chest. So it's bursting out the side, open to more love, open to more joy. What vibration do you need to be in? to receive more joy. Let's be that now. Feeling up the back of your heart. Feeling up the front of your heart. And allowing your entire chakra system to receive and allow. Allowing your aura field to be healed and filled with 24 karat gold energy right now. Putting a crown on your head. Because you are the king or you are the queen. You're sitting in your throne chair receiving love right now. Receive that love right now. Receive. Reconciling to yourself. Become reconciled to you. Come back into your body. It's time to live. It's time to be free. What vibration do you choose to be? And we're feeling that energy healing up right now. And allow it to continue flowing. Let the energy keep flowing through. Let it increase, 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 and ever increase. More love, more joy, more harmony, more peace. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. And let it flow. And so it is. Thank you so much. Namaste.